Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 18 of Second Densetsu 3, and when we last left off, um, we had just entered the Mana Holy Land, which, thanks to the fairy, was summoned in high in the sky, out of reach for us, but well within reach of all the enemies with their airships. We got the Sword of Mana, and then the fairy got kidnapped. Of course, the Beast Kingdom and Navare are completely gutted. And now we need to go and rescue the fairy, because these guys are a bunch of jerks. Or Corrin and the Darkshire Knight went and kidnapped the, our fairy, and took him to Altina. Okay, so, anyway, um, there is nothing new for us in Diore, there's probably nothing new for us anywhere else, so let's go ahead and just fly on over to Altina. Look that big glowing red dot in the upper corner. How convenient, the gate opened for us. Isn't that nice of them? Hmm. Oh. Well, at least the people are normal. So let's see if Altina has any new gear for us. Oh yes. A little expensive. Which means we're probably going to be making a couple trips through the castle to gear up. Tina Castle, which I 
cannot remember anything about how to get through here because we didn't really explore that much when I was doing Angela's intro. Nowhere near enough money to actually get something. Oh, that's not an actual god statue. Unfortunate. very nice. This is also an excellent opportunity to spend some time leveling up. upgrade your gear and also get ready for the next class change because by now you should have definitely already gotten enough XP to get everybody's spells. enemies that we just faced as a boss back when we were rescuing Undini. How the Mighty Machine Golems have fallen. are worth a decent amount of experience. Now, if you 
remember, there is actually a golden mana statue hidden in Altina Castle. Okay, it's just a matter of finding the damn thing. to buy some equipment. Not really. Oh, if we sell that ring that Duran has. That will be a nice opportunity to heal. Of course you wouldn't have a reasonable end. something we really need. And there is a difference between mystery seed and question mark seed, because the actual, uh, the class change seed is literally three question marks. And the only way to get them is certain uh, enemies towards the end of the game drop them. maxed up, so now we need to get like 12,000 money for the weapons. Yay. Alright. Back into the castle we go. Leveling up is always good. with the healing items. 
Please don't die, Angela. We need you to stay alive. And by the way, you can't actually equip the Sword of Mana, unlike in Secret of Mana. Finally learned a new spell. Okay, not that way. There we go. What's this way? Okay. Oh, they removed the Managata statue. Unfortunate. He took the sword. Ah! Very nice.
Alright, so now we can go back into the castle if we really want to, but pretty much there's nothing there. All the enemies have vacated with the boss. Well, or lack thereof, I should say. So, now, the queen is dead. <laughs> She's... yeah, sure. Do I even have enough to buy anything right now? Nope. All right. So at this point, the game actually opens up. We can fight the uh, eight god or the seven god beasts in any order. Um, since the Stone of Darkness is not available, it's going to be a little bit harder to find that guy. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick save here, uh, and take a quick break. When I come back, we will begin our quest to hunt down the eight god beasts. See you guys in a little bit.